Hello everyone. In this video, I will teach you how to install add-ons on XBMC 13 for iOS. If you do not have XBMC, make sure you watch the video in the description where I show you how to install it. If you have XBMC Frodo, make sure you update it to XBMC 13.0. Once you have XBMC installed, you want to launch it. And this is what it will look like. As you can see, there isn't an option to install any repositories like there was on the previous version. So I'm going to teach you what you have to do. First of all, you have to go into Settings. Next, Appearance. On Skin, you want to go in there and change it to Confluence. Hit Yes. And now you can close out of this, close out of that, and there you go. Just like that, you are back to the old skin. So now you can easily go into File Manager, long press the Add Source, then tap on Add Source, and here where it says None, you will type in the URL HTTP colon forward slash forward slash use dot super repo altogether dot org you hit done and then you will enter a name for it you can name it super repo or whatever anyways I have done this so I'm just gonna cancel that and now I'm gonna go back now you will go into settings add-ons, install from zip file, and choose the super repo that we just added. Next, choose Gotham because that is the version we are using. Select all, and there you go. You just click on the zip file and it will install. Once it finishes installing, you will get a message saying super repo add-on enabled. Once that is done, you can go into videos and start adding your add-ons such as the ones I have listed here. If you want to go back to the new look, just go to System, Settings, Appearance, and change the skin to Touched. Say Yes. And you now have the new look of XBMC. You can go into videos and here are the add-ons that we had installed. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hit the like button if you found this helpful. Subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.